Communication is always vital when competing in tournaments. Winning a match requires perfect coordination. You cannot win by yourself. Raid Call. Communication for winners. In League of Legends, Karma is being reworked to have new stats and abilities. On today's episode of Wall Math, we'll be taking a look at her new abilities and the math behind them. Let's take a look at her abilities now. Karma's passive ability, Gathering Fire, will reduce the cooldown of Mantra whenever Karma damages an enemy champion with an ability. It will be reduced by 1 second if Karma is between levels 1 and 6, 1.5 seconds if Karma is between levels 7 and 12, and 2 seconds if Karma is between levels 13 and 18. Multi-target abilities and damage over time abilities trigger Gathering Fire multiple times. The cooldown will also be reduced by 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 1 second on auto attacks against enemy champions. Karma's ultimate ability, Mantra, can now be leveled up. Karma will start with 1 point in it by default. It has a 45 second cooldown and costs no mana. When cast, it will cause the next ability Karma cast within 8 seconds to have an additional effect. Inner Flame has a cooldown equal to 7.5 minus the ability's current level times 0 0.5. It will also cost mana equal to 40 plus the ability's current level times 10. When cast, Karma will fire a ball up to 950 units which will deal magic damage and slow for 1.5 seconds in an area when it hits an enemy. The damage dealt will be equal to 10 plus the ability's current level times 50 plus Karma's ability power times 0.6. The slow will be equal to 10% plus 5% times the ability's current level. If Karma casts Inner Flame after using Mantra, Soul Flare will be cast instead. Soul Flare will apply the magic damage and slow from Inner Flame, but will deal bonus damage equal to negative 25 plus Mantra's level times 50 plus Karma's ability power times 0.3. It will also leave behind a circle that will slow enemies in it by 50%. The circle will spawn at maximum range if the Soul Flare projectile does not hit enemy units. After 1.5 seconds, the circle will detonate dealing magic damage equal to negative 50 plus 100 times Mantra's level plus Karma's ability power times 0.6. Focus Resolve has a cooldown equal to 16.5 minus the ability's current level times 0.5. It will also cost mana equal to 60 plus the ability's current level times 10. When cast, Karma will tether herself to a target enemy champion for 2 seconds. Over the duration, the target will be revealed and dealt magic damage equal to 10 plus the ability's current level times 50 plus Karma's ability power times 0.5. If the tether is not broken after 2 seconds, the target will be snared for 0.75 seconds plus 0.25 seconds times the ability's current level. If Karma casts Focus Resolve after using Mantra, Renewal will be cast instead. Renewal will deal the same magic damage from Focus Resolve and deal bonus magic damage equal to 0 plus Mantra's level times 75 plus Karma's ability power times 0.6. It will also heal Karma for a value equal to the bonus magic damage dealt. Inspire has a 12 second cooldown and will cost mana equal to 50 plus the ability's current level times 10. When cast, Karma will shield an allied champion or minion within 800 units for 4 seconds. The shield strength will be equal to 40 plus the ability's current level times 40 plus Karma's ability power times 0.5. It will also grant them bonus movement speed for 1.25 seconds equal to 10% plus the ability's current level times 10%. If Karma casts Inspire after using Mantra, Defiance will be cast instead. Defiance will shield the main target for the same amount but will also shield the main target and any surrounding targets for negative 10 plus Mantra's level times 40 plus Karma's ability power times 0.3. The surrounding targets will also be granted the bonus movement speed for the same duration. It will also deal magic damage to surrounding enemies equal to negative 20 plus Mantra's level times 80 plus Karma's ability power times 0.6. Overall, Karma's new abilities will allow her to deal large amounts of magic damage and scale with ability power very well, while still providing a nice amount of utility. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous LawMath episode. You can also like LawMath on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and join the community on Reddit. Thanks for watching this episode of LawMath.